Thank you to our sponsor for curating this collection. Let's score art based on 14 qualities. Use our 9-point scale to score how clear and smart each quality is used. Reply 1, 2, or 3 for low quality. Use 4, 5, or 6 for OK quality. And 7, 8, or 9 for high quality. So now, let's score this art. Welcome back to this art score. Let's take a look at this painting by Henry Tanner, the first internationally famous African-American artist. His mother was a slave who escaped slavery through the Underground Railroad and met his dad, who was a uh, preacher. And then they end up moving to Philadelphia, and that's when he ended up getting influenced into the art, ultimately going to the Philadelphia Academy of Fine Arts, where he met Thomas Aiken, who took him under his wing, and Henry was the only African-American black student in the academy. And so the level of skill that Henry ended up developing is just absolutely incredible. And more importantly, his storytelling. Oh, the stories that he tells through his paintings, the emotion that you can feel through the paintings, just extraordinary. I could spend hours talking about this specific painting but we're only going to spend a few minutes today let me focus on the art score here so clearly there's a subject mary is the subject here that conversation is really the story that's going on this is the annunciation so this is when gabriel comes and tells mary that god's going to put uh, jesus in her womb the medium he has an incredible control and command over his paint his color. I love the color that he's using here. I mean, he's using this warm palette and he brings in that green to uh, juxtapose and activate all those uh, warm colors that are in there. And so it's very, very powerful. You can feel the heat. You can you can sense the, the, the pulsating light that's going on in this. And so colors at a high level, I give it a nine. Values are exquisite. I give it a nine. There is a section where I first I kind of was thinking, oh, maybe he messed up you know and that's the shadow that's behind Mary that's on her pillow and you can see that white pillow or let's call it a light pillow against that dark shadow and that becomes a, like really the hardest contrast outside of maybe her hair to her forehead area and I was like why would he do that why would why would he make that contrast so hard there and so I end up giving him a nine for value because ultimately if you look at where it's at it's in alignment where her hands are crossed over and that's ultimately where her womb is. and so they're having a conversation about what's going to happen inside her womb and so so to bring that contrast down into that area and then to drive that horizontal from the edge of the bed over and pillows and all those other horizontals that are going behind her, it worked perfectly to drive the eye and then lower the eye into that womb area. And also by putting that high contrast behind her, we're not only dropping into the womb area, but then also sinking back. Like this is a very reflective, like contemplative moment. The whole entire world changes because of this conversation conversation because of this moment and then her willingness to accept this responsibility because she could have said no and then God wouldn't have put Jesus in her belly right so the fact that she received she she accepted that responsibility you really feel that contemplation if you ever zoom really close in and just look at her face on this image it's just incredible absolutely incredible the sensitivity that uh Henry Tanner developed in here the style very very true to a Tanner painting he has a very distinct style a very distinct mood and feel to his paintings now I do give it a set the structure, the geometry in this painting. Now, when he was at the Academy of the Fine Arts, he did meet Robert Henry. And Robert Henry is from Newark, New Jersey, and he is like a god of composition. And so the fact that he had that influence and he got to learn from Robert Henry on composition and storytelling and design, it makes total sense that his level of composition is just skyrocket. It's just incredible. If you go up on the vertical of the Gabriel and you come across those curves of the uh, of the vault ceiling arches I mean they come right down into Mary and then right up the other side of Mary coming out and coming down through the green fabric I mean just just so much of this painting the compositions the line the structures the alignments all work together to make us feel what it is that Henry Tanner wanted us to feel in this moment the movement just went through that those arcs even the horizontal thrusts that are going behind her what's beautiful about that horizontal thrust is that if you look at Mary she's surrounded by these horizontals 
which triggers this sense of calm and peace. And even though there's all this texture in the floor and there's these curves in the ceilings and all of this stuff that's moving around her, in this moment when we actually look at her, this tapestry behind her, which then helps serves as a calming effect on us when we look at her. Absolutely brilliant. Just brilliant. The shapes work extremely well. Foreground, the background, he, he actually goes to three to four layers on that. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Edges, he's just not painting the, the positive form. He's also caring for the negative forms and how they meet and relate to each other. So he's crafting his edges, his lines out. The soul, I give it a nine because you can feel the intensity Intensity of presence of this divine creature. You can feel the words that are dropping into her soul and yet bringing across a sense of peace. And the fact that she's receiving it and then dropping it not only into her soul but then into her womb and then just contemplating on that. It's just absolutely brilliant. Pattern, the use of pattern from the vertical alignments to the horizontal alignments to the angles of the carpets on the floor. The repetition of these things is it's just the math that's behind this image helps us feel the, the importance of this moment. The harmony as my eye goes around the edges. I love when I come down along the bottom and then kind of start coming up the right hand side and how that green uh, fabric just goes off the page. But as it goes off the page, that enclosure wraps us right up into those arcs and brings us right down into Mary. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like how the front arc brings us to her head. The second second arc brings us into her back. So one brings Gabriel's word into her mind, down into her heart, but the other arc, we feel it drops down through her back and, and down to where she's sitting. And so you just feel this feeling of the word coming into her mind and then dropping deep within her. She's receiving it. She's accepting it. Absolutely brilliant. He has a great signature in the bottom left-hand corner. My eye has plenty enough room to walk around it, to, to move around it, to flow over top because the value contrast is, is low. The spacing around it, it's well placed. It's locked into his composition. It contributes to the whole. It doesn't compete with the image. Perfect signature. And so I give the Annunciation by Henry Tanner 124 points out of 126. That's a 98%. And I'm so happy to give this to him because he earned it. He deserves it. The painting, the topic, the story, everything is just so on point so well crafted done at great painting i love that if you can ever go see a henry tanner painting i encourage you to go do it special thanks to our companions of art and culture thank you for sponsoring this video and helping us nourish many more souls with art subscribe to the channel like this video and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest video. Try art scoring another painting by clicking the video on top. For details on becoming a sponsor, watch the bottom video. Always remember, you count to art. And on that, we all say, Boom Bella.